Why are so many saying Jesus is coming back and why are they saying it soon? Scrolling through your newsfeed, you may be wondering this question. Why your friend, family member, coworker, or acquaintance are so adamantly repeating this message? Here it is. The Bible has an incredible 100% accuracy rating when it comes to Bible prophecy. History, not just the New Testament, but other historical writings as well, has proven that Jesus Christ fulfilled all the Old Testament prophecies concerning his first coming. The fact that he died by way of crucifixion is indisputable. The fact he was resurrected has never and will never be disproven. There is no body to be found because Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. How can we be so sure? Because our faith is founded upon fact. If you do the research, you will find that the Bible is the holy word of God and it is without error. In the Bible, we are told Jesus is coming back a second time. He is going to take his children to heaven in the twinkling of an eye, and then there's going to be a seven-year tribulation period. The reason your friend is sharing this message so adamantly is because they are sounding the alarm. The seven-year tribulation is going to be an unparalleled time of death, destruction, evil running rampant. In short, it will be the worst time in human history. God, in his mercy, will snatch away all born-again believers in Jesus Christ before this time begins. Take the time to research this. You have nothing to lose but eternity to gain. Jesus loves you so much that he chose to die a torturous death for you so that you may have eternal life by accepting his free gift of salvation. You may wonder if Jesus was God manifested in the flesh, then why couldn't he protect himself and take himself off that cross? He could. No man, no army, no entity has the power to kill Jesus. Jesus allowed this to happen because it was the will of God the Father. Why? Because in the Old Testament, Jews used to sacrifice animals for the temporary forgiveness of sins. They would slaughter a lamb without blemish. The blood would cover their sins temporarily. They had to repeat this process over and over again. Jesus came and then lived a life of no sin, and he was crucified for our sins, past, present, and future. He was crucified one time for all sins. He is our lamb without blemish. His death on that cross is the most heroic act of all time. He is the truest love of all time. Come to his saving grace today. No sin is too great for the Lord's saving grace. Call in the name of the Lord and be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Romans 10.9 That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Galatians 1, 6-8 I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that calls you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you, and will pervert the gospel of Christ. And this is the gospel. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures.